were you supporting Senator Sanders from the very beginning this year, or was there a period of time earlier in this cycle where you were undecided? Well, I think there was there was definitely a period of time where it was um, where I was just kind of weighing the entire field. I think like every um, like every American should. We we have to kind of revisit and reassess. Um, so it was definitely a, a conversation about. How are we not just going to run the same way we did in 2016, but how do we run a new campaign every single time? And I, I hold myself to that same standard as well. Did you ever give Mayor de Blasio's candidacy any serious thought? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> I think um, is for that a no, no, no. I think I think the mayor is is a really strong progressive. Um, for me, I feel like my options were were between maybe two to three candidates um, and what I was looking for and I think um, you know Bernie's a really special guy and so I think uh, his candidacy has always been a, a very special one to me. Why do you think de Blasio's campaign didn't gain any traction? I mean he supports a lot of the same policies that you support. Yeah I'm you know I'm not sure um, I wasn't on the inside of, of the mayor's campaign um, so I'm I'm sure. You watch it from the outside. Yeah so I think on the outside Side, um, you always need a strategy when you're running, right? You need to have who your base is in mind. So it's possible that um, the base he was going after was already kind of Bernie's base or someone else's base. Um, so, you know, campaigns are tough. And sometimes it's just, as the mayor said, sometimes it's just, you know, not the right time, but it could be a, a good time at, an, at another juncture. Thank you for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can subscribe by tapping the button below me. And on the left, you can see our latest updates, investigations, and digital exclusives. We'll see you next time.